Congratulations on purchasing your new Raise 3D Pro 2 printer. The following video will provide complete unpacking and setup instructions to quickly begin building industrial grade, high resolution 3D prints. When you receive your Raised 3D printer, you'll need to carefully remove its protective packaging. First, cut off the packing straps. Next, slice the packing tape along the top of the box. Now remove all the cardboard spacers. Be sure to keep the quick start guide for reference, as well as the provided hex head wrench set nearby during setup. There are five international power cords included. Select the proper cable for your service. Remove the rest of the packing materials. Then set aside the clear acrylic lid. It's recommended that you have a second person help you remove the tall cardboard box. You will then both lift the raised 3D printer out of the foam padding. Carefully place your printer in a clear area to continue setup. Locate the four shipping zip ties. Release and remove them. Peel off the four yellow stickers. Then you'll need to remove the 24 plastic security spacers. Twist to remove each one. Manually slide the print head to the back center. Select the largest hex head wrench. And remove Z axis clamps on both sides. Attach the power cord to the printer and turn it on. Your raised 3D printer will boot up quickly. When you see the home screen, push the utility tab, the Z-axis home and OK to move the Z-axis origin. Remove the accessories that were shipped inside your raised 3D printer. Take out the 3D accessories from the box you removed from the machine. Slide out the raised 3D printing plate that can accommodate large designs and remove its protective foam padding. It's important that you completely remove the test print pattern from the plate before you install it. You can use the spatula provided in the accessory box. After you remove the test print, install the printing plate on the Z-axis platform. Secure it finger tight with the locking knobs. Add the filament spool holders on the slots located behind the side door. Place a filament spool on the left and feed the filament up the guide tube. Add a second filament spool to the right. Feed that filament up the right guide tube. Note, the filament spools feed toward the center. Manually feed the filament all the way through the guide tube. Remove the temporary guideline and feed the filament into the print head. Slide the guide tube back in place. Close the door and you're ready to test your raised 3D printer. Use a helper if you lift your raised printer up to a desk or table. Open the front door. Move the Z-axis down 60 millimeters. It can be set up to move in 10 millimeter increments, so tap it six times. The print platform will move to the proper test position. Now push the load button. Your raised 3D printer will heat up to the proper extrusion temperature. When the temperature indicator shows it's ready, press the load button. The print head will extrude a stream of melted filament. Press OK. Remove the test extrusion and discard. Now remove the plastic shipping film from all the surfaces of your printer and place the acrylic lid on the machine. You may wirelessly or use a USB drive to load a sliced G-code image into your machine. Push the print button, select the file location 
and find the file you wish to print. Then press print. Your rugged Raise 3D printer will automatically go through all the steps needed to create a high-resolution, worry-free 3D print. For additional inquiries or technical support, please contact Raise 3D Customer Service at 888-963-9028 or support at raise3d.com.